What if you've mastered ChatGPT, you know how to use all your industry tools, and you think that'll keep your job safe? Well, I've got news for you. Experts are warning that AI could wipe out half of all entry-level jobs by 2030. And Sam Altman just dropped something that changes everything. He's not just talking about AI taking jobs anymore. He's building the platform that decides who gets the jobs that are left. And trust me, this is way bigger than you think. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts with our free weekly newsletter. Click the link in the description below to subscribe. You will get the key AI news, tools, and learning resources to stay ahead. So in this video, I'll break down OpenAI's brand new jobs platform that's launching in 2026. And here's what makes it different. It's not just another job board. We're talking about AI-powered matching, built-in certifications you can earn right inside ChatGPT, and a system that could actually prove your AI skills instead of you just claiming them on a resume. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how this platform works, whether it's really a LinkedIn killer and how you can use it to stand out in the AI job market. First up, let me tell you why Sam Altman is making this move right now. Background, Sam Altman, and why this matters. Sam Altman isn't just building chatbots anymore. As co-founder and leader of OpenAI, he's been behind ChatGPT's explosive growth, and now he's setting his sights on something even bigger, the job market itself. In September 2025, at a tech dinner at the White House, Altman dropped hints about OpenAI's next moves. Beyond just a browser and social media app, he confirmed something that caught everyone off guard, an AI-powered jobs platform launching by mid-2026. But here's where it gets interesting. This isn't just about connecting people to jobs. It's about solving a massive problem that's been keeping executives up at night. Leaders like Dario Amade from Anthropic have been warning that AI could eliminate up to half of all entry-level white-collar jobs by 2030. That's a staggering number. So what's Altman's answer? Instead of watching the job market collapse, he's betting on training people in AI and matching them to the new roles that emerge. It's a bold play, and it comes at a time when companies are desperate to find AI talent, but have no real way to verify who actually knows what they're doing. What makes this even more significant is OpenAI's connection to national policy. The platform is part of a White House initiative pushing AI literacy across America. Altman even met with President Trump to discuss AI's economic impact. This is bigger than just a product launch. This is about reshaping how the workforce adapts to AI, and OpenAI wants to be the platform running it all. So what does this platform actually do? Let's dive into the features, because this is where it gets really fascinating. Platform Features and Innovations The OpenAI Jobs platform isn't a traditional job board where you scroll through listings and hope someone notices your resume. It's an AI-driven matchmaking engine that flips the entire model on its head. Think about how you search for jobs now. You type in keywords. You filter by location. You send out dozens of applications and pray something sticks. OpenAI's platform uses large language models to analyze your actual skills, your work patterns, and your experience to connect you with the right opportunities. According to their own blog, they're using the same technology behind ChatGPT to find the perfect matches between companies and workers. This isn't keyword matching. This is understanding what you can actually do. But wait until you hear this next part. The platform isn't just for tech giants in Silicon Valley. It's designed to work for everyone from major corporations down to small businesses and even local governments. Imagine a small business in Texas that wants to modernize with AI but has no idea how to find the right person. This platform can make that connection happen. Now here are the core features that make this work. First, there's AI skill matching. You list what you can do, companies list what they need, and the AI engine pairs you, based on real capabilities, not just buzzwords on your resume. OpenAI says their LLMs will match job seekers with positions requiring AI fluency, which means instead of you hunting through job postings, the AI is actively suggesting roles that fit your profile. Second, and this is huge, there's certification and learning integration built right in. All the training happens through ChatGPT. You can take free courses and earn OpenAI certifications without ever leaving the app. These certificates range from basic AI tool usage all the way up to advanced prompt engineering. OpenAI has pledged to certify 10 million Americans by 2030, and they're partnering with major employers like Walmart and John Deere to make it happen. Think about that for a second. 
Walmart associates learning AI tools directly through ChatGPT and getting certified for it. Third, the platform has specialized tracks for different sectors. There's a section specifically for small businesses, another for local government jobs, and of course, tech companies. This recognizes that AI skills aren't just needed in Silicon Valley anymore. Even your local shop or town hall might need someone who understands AI. And fourth, employer tools that let companies assess candidate skill levels. Because you've earned open AI certifications, employers can see exactly how fluent you are in AI. It's like having a verified skills meter on your profile. Businesses can trust that certified applicants have proven AI knowledge, not just claims. Some insiders are even speculating this could include automated resume builders, AI career coaching, or premium matching services, all built on the ChatGPT Foundation. In other words, this is training, certification, and job matching all under one roof. It's a complete career ecosystem powered entirely by AI. Now you might be thinking, isn't this just LinkedIn with extra steps? Here's why that comparison doesn't quite work. How it compares to LinkedIn, OpenAI has openly positioned this as a rival to LinkedIn. And while both platforms connect professionals with opportunities, they're approaching the problem from completely different angles. LinkedIn has 9 to 30 million users covering every industry imaginable. It's built around networking, personal branding, thought leadership, and recommendations. It's a social graph. You connect with people, you post content, you build a professional presence. The OpenAI platform, it's laser focused on skills, specifically AI skills. There's no thought leadership here, no viral posts, just what can you do with AI and who needs that skill right now? Here's another key difference. On LinkedIn, you browse job listings or wait for recruiters to find you. The OpenAI platform flips that model. Instead of posting jobs and hoping the right person applies, AI actively identifies matches based on demonstrated skills. Some experts are comparing it to Fiverr combined with AI, where the system might present you with opportunities before they're even publicly posted. That's proactive matching, not passive browsing. Then there's the learning integration. Both platforms offer learning. LinkedIn has LinkedIn Learning. OpenAI has their academy. But OpenAI's is baked into the same app where the jobs are. You learn a skill, you prove it through certification, and you apply for jobs all in one place. That closed loop is powerful because it removes friction. You're not jumping between platforms. Now here's where this gets really interesting from a business perspective. LinkedIn is owned by Microsoft, which also happens to be OpenAI's biggest investor. Microsoft put $13 billion into OpenAI, and now OpenAI is directly competing with Microsoft's own professional network. It's an unusual dynamic, and honestly, no one knows exactly how this will play out. Microsoft is adding AI features to LinkedIn too, but if OpenAI's platform gains serious traction, it could force LinkedIn to evolve faster than they'd planned. That said, this isn't about OpenAI replacing LinkedIn overnight. LinkedIn's massive network and community features won't disappear. Many experts agree this is evolutionary pressure, not a revolution. It'll complement LinkedIn or push them to adapt, but it's not wiping them off the map anytime soon. What OpenAI is building is purpose-built for skill-based hiring in the AI era. It's a different beast entirely. But here's where this platform really gets smart. The AI personalization happening behind the scenes. AI personalization, matching and learning. OpenAI has a massive advantage that no other job platform has, data from ChatGPT itself. Think about what that means for a second. Through ChatGPT usage and their partnerships, OpenAI can see what skills people are actually learning and what problems companies are trying to solve. For example, if you've been using ChatGPT to practice Python coding or solve data analysis problems, the platform could infer your skill level from those real interactions. That's far more valuable than what's written on a resume. Analysts have pointed out that OpenAI can literally see who's good at certain tasks by tracking whether someone successfully solves coding challenges or completes advanced prompts correctly. This behavioral data fuels the matching engine. Two candidates might both list Python on their resumes, but the one who's been consistently solving advanced Python problems through ChatGPT, they'll get routed to more senior roles. This is a fundamentally different approach to hiring. Instead of relying on self-reported skills, you're being matched based on demonstrated competence. 
On the learning side, the AI tailors your education path. Training happens in ChatGPT, which can personalize content based on how you respond. If you're struggling with a concept, it gives you more examples. If you're breezing through, it speeds up. OpenAI says you can prepare for certifications right in ChatGPT's study mode, and when you're ready, you take the test without leaving the app. The goal here is to ensure that certification reflects real skill, not just the ability to memorize answers. As one analysis put it, OpenAI is moving toward real skill data, not just resume claims. That shift could change everything about how hiring decisions get made. So let's talk about those certifications and what happens when you earn them. Certification courses and job placement OpenAI already runs the OpenAI Academy, which has over 2 million people using it to learn AI tools. Now they're expanding it with formal certification tracks. You'll start with basic courses like using AI at work and progress all the way to advanced topics like prompt engineering or building AI applications. Everything is free and it's all delivered through ChatGPT. Once you complete the study modules, you take a certification test right in the app. OpenAI boasts that you can prepare and become certified without ever leaving ChatGPT. Who's creating these courses? Launch partners include major companies that desperately need AI skills. Walmart, John Deere, Boston Consulting Group, and others. Some courses will be tailored to specific industries, like retail or agriculture, to address real business problems. Walmart has said they're putting the most powerful technology of our time in their associates' hands by bringing AI training directly to their workforce. So once you earn these certifications, what happens next? The idea is seamless integration into hiring. Candidates who complete AI fluency certifications become visible to employers on the platform. Companies can filter specifically for certified candidates. Your certificate acts like a badge saying, this person genuinely knows how to use AI tools. It becomes part of your profile, so employers can confidently hire you for AI roles. Now, OpenAI hasn't explicitly promised job placement guarantees, but the entire system is designed so that completing courses directly boosts your job prospects. Instead of finishing a course on an external site and hoping someone notices, here you gain skills and immediately enter a marketplace hungry for those exact skills. As one analyst noted, this could become the go-to place where employers search for AI skills and hire people. Finish the courses, get certified, and the platform helps connect you to matching jobs. It's a full pipeline from learning to employment. But not everyone is convinced this will work. Let's talk about what the tech community is saying. Early reactions from the tech and AI community. The announcement has generated a lot of buzz, and opinions are all over the map. On one hand, many people are excited about the vertical integration. The idea of combining training, certification, and job matching in one AI-powered system is compelling. Business publications are calling it deep learning job matchmaking. Analysts like Johannes Sundlow have praised OpenAI's data advantage. They can see what problems companies face and what skills people are actually developing, which could produce much smarter matches than traditional recruiting methods. Some are even saying this could flip recruiting on its head. Instead of you chasing jobs, Jobs might come to you based on your demonstrated AI competence. But there are skeptics too. HR expert Josh Burson points out that past tech giants like Google and Facebook tried to build job platforms and failed. The hiring space is surprisingly complex, and network effects matter. Just because you build it doesn't mean people will come. There are also legitimate concerns about privacy and ethics. Critics are asking, how much of your chat GPT usage is fair game for hiring decisions? What happens if AI biases filter out good candidates who don't fit a narrow pattern? These are real questions that OpenAI will need to address. Then there's the Microsoft tension. Some commentators have called this a Trojan horse move to capture massive amounts of job market data while competing against OpenAI's own investor. It's messy from a business politics perspective. Overall, the consensus seems to be this. It won't make LinkedIn obsolete overnight. LinkedIn still excels at networking, content creation, and referrals, things this new platform doesn't immediately offer. But even the skeptics agree it signals a major trend. Hiring is moving toward real-time skill verification and continuous learning. As one analysis put it, skills verification is becoming real-time. The job market is becoming more data-driven, 
and continuous learning is no longer optional. Tech and HR professionals are waking up to a future where AI skills must be proven and up-to-date, not just listed on a resume. So what does all this mean for the bigger picture? Implications for the future of AI hiring. Let's zoom out and think about where this is headed. First, AI skills are quickly becoming table stakes for many jobs. If millions of people get certified by 2030 as OpenAI plans, employers might start expecting those credentials as a baseline. That could level the playing field in some ways. A retail worker with a certification could potentially land an AI-related role they wouldn't have been considered for before. But it also raises the bar for everyone. If certification becomes standard, not having it could hurt your chances. Second, recruiting could become dramatically faster and more precise. Companies struggling to fill AI roles might turn to this platform as their first stop, rather than posting generic ads on traditional sites. Smaller businesses and local governments, which often lack big HR teams, could suddenly tap into AI talent easily. In that sense, the platform could democratize access to AI expertise. But there's a flip side. Some worry this could accelerate the automation of hiring itself. If AI is screening every applicant, what happens to human recruiters? What happens to the networking and referrals that often lead to the best hires? And if everyone's chasing the same certified jobs, does it just become a tougher competition with different gatekeepers? We'll have to watch how supply and demand balance out. On a broader level, initiatives like this could reshape the very concept of work. We might see AI fluency added to job descriptions as commonly as college degrees are now. Workers in non-tech fields might be pushed to learn basic AI tools just to stay relevant. On the upside, OpenAI's push aims to prevent a skills gap. By training millions, they hope to ensure workers aren't left behind by AI automation. For AI enthusiasts and professionals, this could mean more jobs designed around AI expertise. If you have the skills, companies will actively try to find you. That's a fundamental shift in how the labor market operates. Conclusion, what you need to know. So here's what you should take away from all of this. The OpenAI Jobs Platform is a big bet on a new career ecosystem. It's a direct challenge to LinkedIn's dominance in professional networking, but with a laser focus on AI skills and AI-powered matching. For job seekers and employers in the AI sector, it promises a more efficient way to connect if it delivers on its promises. Even if it doesn't kill LinkedIn, it will almost certainly push everyone to rethink how hiring works. Here are the key points. Sam Altman's team at OpenAI, including CEO of Applications Fiji Simo, is building an AI-first recruitment platform launching around mid-2026. It includes built-in courses and certifications delivered through ChatGPT. Completing these courses boosts your profile because certified candidates are matched directly to employers on the platform. In contrast to LinkedIn's broad social network, this is a skill-centric engine. Think problems and solutions, not profiles and posts. For AI professionals, the message is crystal clear. Prove your skills and keep learning. The future hiring landscape is moving toward demonstrable AI fluency. As one analyst put it, even if OpenAI's jobs platform doesn't dethrone LinkedIn, it highlights a shift where what you can do will matter more than who you know. The world of work is evolving, and OpenAI is trying to build the software that runs it. Whether you're looking for your next role or trying to hire AI talent, this is a platform you'll want to watch closely. If you found this breakdown helpful, let me know in the comments what you think about OpenAI competing with LinkedIn, and whether you'd use a platform like this to find AI jobs. I'll see you in the next video.